So one of the great things about flying with Southwest Airlines is the schedule. Let's dig into it. So on top of all the ways you have to move your trips around to get the days off you want, we actually have trips that are broken up into AM and PM schedules for the most part. For example, today I have a 5 p.m. show, which gives me pretty much all day to do whatever I want, like hang in the pool with the kids. And I do have to admit, heading to work at five o'clock in the evening is pretty awesome. However, after a full day, you're gonna need a Celsius or a Jocko go. <laughs> now that we're here, I have just noticed I brought my headsets from the Cirrus. So, limo plugs, and if you can see up here, we don't have limo plugs up there. So, I am gonna have to borrow uh, some of the, some of the spare headsets, which are not very good at hearing. It's not noise canceling, but at least I can get through this two day uh, and get through, get through the trip. So, uh, first, <laughs> even though I had a lot of time at home all day today, uh, I grabbed the wrong headset. So it's a problem with keeping your headsets uh, kind of all in the same deal. I kind of screwed that up. Well, here it is. I got the ear spike. I am kicking it old school. I feel like a uh, DC-8 captain back in the day flying to Hawaii. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not very noise canceling, but it's gonna work for the next two legs. And lovely my, uh, luckily my lovely wife is gonna bring up my uh, eight. 25s. A25s? A30s? I can't remember. Well, not the new new ones, but my old ones. All right, uh, here's what it looks like. For those of you that uh, notice a different quality, I got a new phone or a new camera. So this is why it looks so good. <laughs> Anyways, just going to San Diego and then we're turning around to come right back. Looks pretty good uh, on both ways, although there is a little bit of rain to the north. So I don't know if that's going to make it into Phoenix or not, but should be a little bit bumpy uh, on the way out. Here's a clearance, uh, Firebird to Mohawk, and it's filed 8,000 feet, 32 and 3, 26, 8, and uh, 2677. Here's a squawk, it is down there, We're up to 8,000 and 32 after a bit. So, APU light is on, let's check to see. Yep, let's go ahead and clear that on. And we need to wait a little bit uh, before we turn on the air, so. Kicking it old school. Here we go, let's go. Let's go do this. We are here, gate number nine, in San Diego. Uh, it's about 50 minutes of the flying time. And uh, here's what we did, came in over here. Uh, got a little, uh, got a little kind of funky towards the end of it. We were uh, getting vectored off a little bit, but um, just outside Vida, kind of headed south. And, I came up towards Vida and then uh, we went straight to uh, uh, actually Vida and then we are now to 27. So landed. British Airways is coming out. Nice big 350. That was pretty neat. But uh, here we are, gate number nine. So get ready to head back. Um, my lovely wife is going to bring my headsets because flying with uh, this old school earpiece is not very pleasant. So. I gotta preserve my hair. <laughs> All right, a couple more legs and then uh, we'll be in Seattle for the overnight. Bravo 12 in Seattle. Gates just pulling up. You know, head back from uh, San Diego to Phoenix. We changed planes. I had to grab a new headset. I actually got my headset because of my wife who brought it uh, to the airport. So that was very nice of her. Anyways, uh, we are finishing up here. It uh, took two hours and 30 minutes get back to Seattle, clean up the airplane, head over to the hotel. Uh, we're staying at the Double Tree, so I'll see you guys there. That was, uh, that was a little bit rough. I meant to do a video when I first got in. I got in, threw my clothes down, or threw my bags down. I got in, threw my bags down, got ready for bed, and I jumped to bed. I was exhausted. So. Yeah, flying to PM was great. I had all day to do everything, but 
man, it's it's really long. I did use a Celsius, so that was really good. Helped me go until the very end, until getting to the hotel room. But uh, that was it. I also crushed a cookie when I got in. Short overnight, but that's no excuse not to get a workout in. We're gonna get a workout in, and then we're gonna do four legs back to Phoenix, all with a plane change. But first, let's talk about the workout. So for this workout today, I'm gonna need to bring my water bottle, some warm-up bands, tape, and headsets. So this workout room is definitely new, meaning it's not the same spot that it used to be. It is what it is. We can get a workout anywhere, like I always talk about. Uh, it's gonna be a 30 minute workout today. We're just gonna be doing a little bit of running on the treadmill. So every quarter mile, we're gonna do a combination of push-ups, body weight squats. I was gonna do pull-ups, but I don't think we can hit it with that. I think my coconut is gonna hit the ceiling, so. We're probably just gonna do push-ups and body weight squats. Every quarter mile for about two miles. Good workout, gets the blood pumping, gets some movement, and then uh, the biggest thing that I'm excited to tell you guys about on this overnight, we're in Seattle, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys that, but we're in Seattle. Biggest thing about this overnight is right across the street, there's a Thai place called Mango. So I'm gonna check that out for lunch, and that's gonna be my reward for working out today. It is a little bit dreary outside, being Seattle, but it is the summer. So sooner or later, this place is gonna open up. It's gonna be gorgeous. And all the rain and clouds will go away and it'll just be the majestic emerald forest that uh, Washington is known for. So anyways, I'm gonna get after it. I'll see you guys after. And then we're gonna go to Typhoon. Yeah, the soap opera's gonna go. <laughs> Spill motivation. Okay, well, workout, eh, two and a half out of five stars. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it today, but we got that movement in. Um, the effort, actually, I should say the discipline was there to get into the gym. So even if you've got a short overnight and it's kind of, I don't know about you guys, but it bothers me when I get a short overnight because I can't, I don't feel like I could get the full, like I'm always watching the clock. But anyways, uh, the best part about it I did get the workout in, so now we're gonna go to that mango place, that Thai place, and check it out. I'll give you guys a review. Mango Thai. Heard it's really good. We're gonna check it out. Hi. Hi. Just for one. Uh, mango. Yes. You have to hit it. Uh, the flavors were awesome. It was just very flavorful. The one thing I will ding it on, it's not really a ding, but I could always use more protein in there. So the chicken was a little light. Could add a little more protein on that. But anyways, overall, man, four and a half stars out of five. Really good, really enjoyed that place. And uh, they were super nice too, very nice people. So anyways, if you're staying across the street at the uh, Double Tree, go hit up the uh, mango. Is it Thai mango? It's called Mango Thai Food. Go hit it. Man, this is the Washington I have always loved. It's beautiful outside. It's probably in the low 60s, and it's just partly cloudy, so you get to see a little bit of sun. Gorgeous. Love it up here. I have about 45 minutes before I'm gonna start walking uh, back to the terminal. It's about a mile walk. I actually uh, timed it the other day, so I'm gonna start getting ready, um, leisurely getting ready, but Man, I've got a full belly, so I might just lay down on that bed right there. We're out of here, out of Seattle. We're heading down to uh, Las Vegas. It'll take us an hour and 55 minutes. We've got a ton of gas, 24.8. We'll be landing with 12.9. Uh, alternate is Ontario. Should be a decent ride on the way down to Las Vegas, but uh, here's our departure right here on the Suma 2. We're gonna end up at uh, Lakeview, so heading south on the way to Lakeview. So. About two hours, we'll see you in Vegas. We are here in Las Vegas. That took a long time. Charlie three, two hours and 20 minutes our flying time. Um, it wasn't supposed to be that long, but there's a bunch of weather that we actually had to go around here in Las Vegas. So there's weather all up to the north and to the south. So we actually went down towards Edwards Air Force Base and then did a hook to come back into Vegas. So 
Now we are behind schedule, so we're gonna be running to the next airplane so we can get on the road, get back to uh, San Jose. So here we go. All right, new jet, here we go. It is time to head over to San Jose. All right guys, next up, on our way to San Jose, Joker 3 to Kino as well, time to the Sid. We got 19 set there, 34 set up on top. There's our route of flight. On the uh, WSI app, it shows a lot of convective activity out there. So basically, out through the uh, departure will take us up to Kino. And then from there, uh, just basically a straight shot over to San Jose. But you can tell there's some weather there. When we came in from Seattle, we had to go farther south and then up, up to the north. Uh, around all that weather so looks like an hour and five minutes is what we're gonna do to head down there We've got plenty of gas no alternate on this one so San Jose is uh, actually pretty nice let's see what the weather is doing over there uh, yeah beautiful over there 72 degrees We've got a little bit of windy cloud uh, windy uh, winds from the north but other than that looks good nice day all right, leg number two, let's do it. All right, we're here. We're gonna say goodbye to Harmon. He is a uh, dispatcher at Sky West. He was riding the uh, jump seat. What'd you think, man? How was the landing? It was awesome, it was really smooth. One, one to 10, about eight, ten out of seven. Ten. Ten out of <laughs> He's so kind. Anyways, we're here in uh, San Jose. We got uh, two more legs to go. We're gonna bid adieu. How was the jump seat? Was it comfortable? Very comfortable. See, look it. Come on, come ride the jump seat with us. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here in Burbank. Jeffo's getting stuff ready. I'm gonna go do the walk around for him. And then we got one more back to Phoenix. Weird weather phenomenon here in uh, Burbank. The uh, rain layer moved in super quick, kind of almost caught us off guard. Good thing we briefed up the ILS because we were ready to go to shoot it because the weather really went down really quick. So anyways, we're gonna do a walk around real quick and uh, get on out to Phoenix. All right, here we go. Let's get back in, last leg back to Phoenix. And just like that, we're back home. The gate is pulling up as we speak. Here at the new gate, Delta 11, nice stuff. Hey, thanks to Josh for being an awesome FO and his son, Seth, who is getting all his ratings and he is gonna replace his dad's seat right here one day and his dad's gonna be in my seat one day so that's gonna be very cool best of luck to you uh, Seth uh, hope to see you really soon and thanks to everybody for uh, watching I appreciate it get yourself some merch on flyingwithbigearn.com see you out there on the gym with the uh, crew fit shirt so all right guys we'll see you next week